anyone who's ever watched the harness race knows that this is a whip. That's no mystery. But some of the reasons why drivers use them may surprise you. Recently, we met up with George Dennis for this segment of Harness Racing 101. Very often, when a driver does use a whip, they're not necessarily hitting the horse. I mean, sometimes the whip isn't even hitting the horse's flesh. No, sometimes, or most of the times, it's hitting either the shaft, and that, a lot of times that's where, like, if you're standing outside and you hear the cracking noise, it's the, the whip hitting the shaft, or hitting the saddle pad, or the wheel disc. If you flip the whip out to the side, it's hitting the wheel disc and not really hitting anything close to the horse, okay. you know. So, but I mean, it's used to encourage them along more so than just sit out there and whip on the horse. Just think about it. You're coming down the stretch, and all these drivers are going rah, rah, right. and you hear, and you're a horse, and you hear right, exactly. that popping on the wheel disc. You're thinking, right. what in the world something's is behind me? me? Yeah, yeah something's chasing. So it's one of those things where he maybe wants to get away from that noise. Right, exactly. Um, so horses that do uh, get encouraged by the whip, though, the older horses I know, uh, sometimes they're kind of smarter than the driver maybe? <laughs> yeah, some, you know, it's, it depends on the horse. Some horses, you know, take encouragement well. Some don't like it at all. Some will just pretty much pull up and slow right down if you really get after them. So it's kind of a touch and go situation of which horse likes it, which horse don't. Fans are probably very used to seeing drivers use whips, especially the fans in North America. Right, well actually it's a rule that a driver has to carry a whip with him. It's a certain length and the cracker on the end is a certain length. And basically, the, the real good point to the whip is like leaving the gate. You know, a horse will go, you know, pretty much go along without a whip, except for like quick movements like pulling out of a hole or getting in a hole or leaving the gate. Or like if a horse makes a break, you need to like, some of them will just slow right down and you don't want to cause interference or a wreck behind you. So you, you chase the horse away, you know, make him go on so the horse don't have a wreck behind him. Or, you know, if he tries to run out in the middle of the track, young horses, you know, they're just you know, green and they'll run out in the middle of the track and if you touch them on the side, they'll straighten back up. So that's the good points about it. I really thought that this was important to kind of take the, um, I don't know, the mystery oh, yeah, out sure. of uh, what fans perceive and uh, why right. drivers really do need You know, that. I mean, if you didn't have a whip, some of your gamblers would think you were not trying or not attempting to win the race because you were just sitting there with no whip, in my opinion. Real betters know the difference, whether the horse is aggressive or not aggressive or he's advancing when you're using a whip or not. But for the general public, if you're just sitting there and you see seven guys kind of trying to encourage the horse on, one guy not, they're thinking, well, he's not, you know, he's not trying to win a race, which isn't the case. Right. Well, thank you very much, George, okay. for being on the show. Thank you. 